Hi guys and welcome to another edition of the Coventry Transport Museum Breakfast Club right here in Coventry. There's a lot of cars that showed up so let's have a look around. So let's have a wonder and see what cars we have here. Right here we have a Evo 10 which as you might know is the last generation of the Evo because Mitsubishi decided not to do them anymore. And then we have a BMW M3, we have a Caterham, we have an MX-5, we have a Mustang, bright yellow Mustang which has quite a nice interior I think. Unfortunately it's closed so we can't really see it. Moving on, we have a Wattburg here, a V6 Ford Capri, an XKR, also a TR6, <coughs> also Triumph, a Jag, Jag, yes, Jag. Moving on to the back rows, a purple Beetle right next to a really, really cool hot rod over there. We have a old Lexus LS400, a Jaguar, another Jaguar 3.8. We have a Gazelle, which is actually a singer produced in the UK, as you can see. Quite a nice color of blue. It looks quite mint. Right next to a Rover, a Mustang Boss, which I think is the meanest car here right next to a Bentley, more Triumphs, Rolls Royce. Check this out, we have a Bentley R-Type special from 1953 right here. Oh, I mean look at this piece of work here. And the funniest thing about this one, check this little guy out, a little pink panther over here. I mean this car just looks fantastic. Right here we have a Trabant which is quite unique, you don't see these very often and interesting thing to know about these cars is that they actually run on a mixture of uh, petrol and oil and for their time they were quite uh, quite good, it has like carbon, uh, not carbon but cardboard bodywork and also this one is convertible as you can see, I've never seen one like this before, quite unique. So I have a special guest for you today and I have one of the event directors from Ace Parade and he's gonna talk to us about the Grand Tour that is coming up at the end of August right here. I have Herbie. Herbie say hello. Hi guys. So tell us a bit about the Grand Tour we're gonna have at the end of August. Yeah so um, the Grand Tour is gonna start on the uh, 23rd of August. Uh, from London um, to Swanford, which is going to be the first leg, and the main leg is going to be from Swanford to Kempton to St. Moritz and then down to Monte Carlo, which is going to be the main leg. Um, and then we've got uh, for this year, we've got an Eastern special from Monte Carlo to uh, Bucharest in Romania. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you're interested in amazing roads, uh, doing cultural things along the way, definitely uh, check out the Grand Tour on the Ace Road website. Cool. Thank you, Herbie. So, you've heard it from him. Don't forget to book your, your car onto this year's event and come join us. So today there's a little twist. We're gonna head from here, from the Covenant Transport Museum, to, to the Dallas Polo Club, where we're gonna have lunch. But how we get there is on the scenic Warwickshire routes. So let's jump in the cars and head over there. is in sight 
cars are still behind us. They managed to keep up on the on the roads. Let's see how many are there. We are now ready to go on the second leg of the journey towards Burton Bassett Hills to take some nice pictures. All right, let's enjoy the road. Second leg of the journey is now done. We've reached Burton Dasset Hills. Beautiful, beautiful. Just have a look. Time for the last leg of the journey. Uh, leg three. And we're gonna go to Caffeine and Machine, the local hotspot for supercars, classic cars, and all kinds of petrol enthusiasts. See you there. And we have reached Caffeine and Machine. Let's see what's in the car park. We finished our little road trip around Warwickshire countryside and having reached Caffeine and Machine, it's time to say goodbye. So if you liked the video, please leave a comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you later, bye.